This year's recipient of the Towel and Basin Award is Dr. Robert E. Cooley. Please come forward. If one had to indicate a single person whose name is most synonymous with Gordon Conwell Charlotte, that person would undoubtedly be Bob Cooley. It is because of Bob's initiative that Gordon Conwell teaches in Charlotte at all. It is because of Bob's vision that the campus has moved in the direction it has. It is because of Bob's ability to excite others with that vision that the campus actually has a campus complete with the most technologically innovative seminary classroom in the country. It is because of Bob's influence that Gordon Conwell Charlotte stands on the cusp of the next great wave in theological education today. In the late 1980s, Bob Cooley saw the direction education was headed and began to announce where the winds were blowing. His message was not popular in seminary circles at the time, but with 2020 hindsight, we can now declare that his voice was prophetic. The world in which students would come to the centers of education, leaving their communities to establish new ones on campus, was past its prime. Although still today we insist that that way of seeking education is very valuable, and we pray that it will never come to an end. But the world in which the institutions would bring education to the students who remained in their own communities was just beginning, and Bob both prophesied its arrival and served as its midwife. One of his last acts as president of Gordon-Conwell was the founding of the Charlotte campus, the beginning of a dream to serve the new world of education that was arising. In the two decades since Bob's retirement, he has continued to preach his message as one by one his prophecies about the future of education have come true. He excited numerous institutions with a new vision for education, and yet his eye was always on our Charlotte campus. Bob spread the vision to the campus leadership, to major members of the community, to some of the seminary's most significant donors. His vision, his persistence, and his indefatigable energy have been the driving force behind the movement that led to the David M. Rogers Hall of Missions and to the nascent approach to education that we now call Digital Live. Bob, it is almost beyond belief that we have never given you the Towel and Basin <laughs> Award before. <laughs> but the historical record doesn't lie. We checked, and you have never received it. So today, we offer to you an award long overdue, but also with the recognition that as Digital Live gathers momentum, this is the perfect time to give it to you with immense gratitude for your service to the Charlotte campus and through it to the world of theological education, we are honored to present you with the 2018 Towel and Basin Award. It's dangerous to invite me to say something. <laughs> As I look at the town basin, I'm reminded of a beginning. The beginning that began. The Passion Week. It was headed through suffering, through death, but it ended in resurrection and new life. It stands as a symbol of Christ like servanthood with humility. It was another beginning. 
1988, I stood in Manila and listened to Pastor David Chadwick talk about theological education in the Southeast. He invited Gordon Conwell to this city. And he opened up this church for a beginning. As I look around the classrooms, is where teaching and learning began. Somewhere out there, underneath this auditorium, is a spot where a little cottage stood. It was the beginning of a library. We put 50,000 books in that little cottage. No room for students. Nineteen ninety six. There was a beginning to commencement. Five students graduated, and we met in this congregation, in this church, to celebrate a beginning. So as I look at a class of over ninety graduates, this is your beginning. John Garlock. This is your beginning of expanded ministry in Gaza, Palestine. <laughs> May you go beginning maintaining a Christ-like servanthood with humility. Thank you, President Hollander, Dr. Gasson, Dr. Fairburn, and the Charlotte team. You have honored me. Thank you.